What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and today's video is going to be reading a text file into Python. So first thing uh, when you read a text file into Python is you're going to need your text file. And the easiest way to do this is to actually just have it in the same folder that you have your Python um, code. So if you don't have, if you do have your text file, but it's not in your Python directory, then you should copy it and copy it into this folder. There is a way to read from whatever directory you're in using like a file join, a file path join. Um, but that's a little more complicated and in depth than we're going to get in this video. If that is something you want to see, maybe let me know about in the comments below. I can do that in a future video. But for now, we're going to say that you've got a copy of your text file in the same folder as your Python code. Um, and that's just going to make everything easier because we can direct address it. So um, I'm going to start by making a variable called file. And I'm just going to use the Python's built-in open function. And uh, first things first, you give it the name of your file. So you can tell um, if you look at my system tree, there's a whole bunch of tutorials I've done. And then one text file, and it's just called mytextfile.txt. And then the second thing you're going to give it is uh, a command of what you want to do to that text file. And for me, I want to read from it, so I give it an R. Um, if you were going to write to it, you would give it a W, but that's not what we're doing in this video. And then um, to actually create a variable where you have the data line by line that's in that text file stored inside another variable, you're going to um, just another variable. I'm going to call it read because you've read from it at this point. But you do file dot and then read lines. And so what this is doing, just so um, you can see it, I'm going to go ahead and print out that variable we just made. It's creating a dictionary of each line of text. And so you can see this is what's inside of my text file. Sample text, Pete is cool, you know, one, two, three, four, five, more sample text, and then Pete is cool again. So it's a total of five lines. And you can see it automatically is putting this backslash n in there because inside the text file, every time you have a new line, Python actually recognizes new line as a character. And so this is backslash n. If you've ever, um, seen like uh, pr wanted to print out a string and have it on two lines you actually need that backslash n but there is a way to remove it in python so we'll do it two ways we'll start by saying for line inside of our read dictionary um, and then we're going to check and see if the character in it that is the last character is equal to the new line operator so backslash n then what we're gonna do is create oops one too many character we're gonna create a new list that I'll call modified and we're going to add just a second here so because we're gonna have a new version of this file um, that's gonna be a new dictionary just like read is but it, we're gonna remove the backslash n's um, we're going to need to create an empty dictionary, uh, empty list. Sorry, I said dictionary a few times. It's a list. Um, we're going to need an empty list at the start of our file so that inside of here, when we're appending to it, it already exists. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add everything inside of the line up to the last character. So if you haven't seen um, my previous tutorial video on how to modify a string, I recommend you go back and check that out because some of these um, addressing of individual characters inside of a string might not make sense to you, but that's not the purpose of this video. So just brief summary of what we're doing. We're checking if the uh, last character in the list, that's what this minus one address means, and if the last character inside of each string is backslash n, we're going to add the, the entire thing from start, which is why there's no variable, no value before the colon, up to but not including the last character. So this is how we're going to remove the last character from the list. Um, but then what we need to do, because if you see when we printed out before, the last entry does not have a backslash n. So we have to include an else statement 
that's just going to say, well, now we've checked and the last character is not backslash n. So we're just going to append it with the entire line. So this should give us the entire uh, list. And we're just going to, instead of printing out read, now we're going to print modified. So let's go ahead and run that. Let's go ahead and run that. And there we go. So now you can see we have sample text, Pete is cool, one, two, three, four, five, more sample text, but we don't have those backslash ends and it didn't mess with our last statement. So that was the first way I wanted to show just because this is how you would do it if you needed to iterate through each line of code and check for any conditions. But in the specific case of the backslash n, there's actually a much easier built-in function, which is just going to be modified dot append I'm deleting instead of backspacing modified dot append and then line but then you include this dot strip function and so that's its exact purpose is to remove that character that you don't need from each line so let's see why am I getting the modified dot append Okay, and so this modified.append line.strip is um, just exactly what you need for uh, removing it. If I run this now, you're going to see we get the exact same thing as before. Uh, so just doing that dot .strip functionality allowed us to remove all four of these rungs of code. And so that's pretty cool. Now let's do one more thing in this video uh, without it getting too long. Let's go ahead and remove duplicates. So you see this uh, string Pete is cool is in here twice. And what you could do is you could type out that entire string and say, you know, if this entire string is in there twice, like you could check each thing. But the easiest way to make sure you don't have any duplicates is just add a statement and say if line not in modified so what you're doing here is you're saying if the new line that I'm reading in is not already in the modified um, list that we've created then go ahead and add it um, so what it's seeing is if line is not in modified then add the line minus that last character of the backslash n and so you can see we only have p is cool once now. And if in our text file, this was just sample text instead of more sample text, this would not appear twice as well. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on anything you saw here today or anything in particular you want to see in the future. And uh, thanks for checking out the channel. And as always, good luck with your code. Thanks. Bye.